नाव करो मेरे पार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार नाव करो मेरी पार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार गहरी नदिया नाव पुरानी करजे बादल बरसे पानी कैसे लगेगी पार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार नाव करो मेरी पार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार दिखत ना ही कोई किनारा तेरे नाम बिन घोर अंधियारा दिखत किनारा तेरे नाम बिन घोर अंधियारा पैया पकड़ करो पार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार नाव करो मेरी पार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार जो जन आयो शरण तिहारी तन की विपता सब दुख हारी जो जन आयो शरण तिहारी तन की विपता सब दुख हारी तेरे है हाथ हजार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार पार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार नाव हमारी डगमग डोले पार उतारो शंकर भोले नाव हमारी डगमग डोले पार उतारो शंकर भोले हाथों में तेरे पतवार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार नाव करो मेरी पार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार ओ शंकर भोला नाव करो मेरी पार हरिओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुदेव कर्म समस्त जन कल्याणी नमा चिन्मय ओम 
हरि ओम श्री गुरु नम हरि Yeah. This uh, one book, if you understand whatever is said there thoroughly, when you feel confident, I have understood it. You will not merely understand what is said in that book. It will become your experience. That is the style in which this book has been written. I will read out the very first time I read this book about four or five years back. What I written here about Shankara Bhatia that applies to the book. Book also same style. Shankara Bhatia same style. The translator also same style. I the way in which the Bhatia has been given. easy to understand interesting to read elaborate shows the large heart and love of the shankara to humanity i bow down to that mahatma in all reverence more for his love than knowledge shankara's love than knowledge so beautifully the very author has that concept Rudra Kumar, the very Rishi, Yagna Valke Rishi, wanted everybody to get that experience while they go through that. That is the style in which he has written. In addition to that, Shankara's Bhashya, anybody can understand, excepting when he is addressing the opponents, Shankya, Vaisheshika. That you can ignore because that's not our disease. When you go to a doctor, you only have to know your problem. If it is your problem, you will understand. He is addressing some others. You don't have to worry. So beautifully as written, and more than that, the translator also follows the same spirit, Madhava Ananda. So this one book, read again and again, listen to. not only me there are various masters in the youtube but most of the masters have confined to maitreyi brahmana they have not taken this earlier portion my faith is as the rishi written without a purpose the earlier portions so there should be some purpose in so though we do not deal with them word by word yet we have to say what it says and connect the topic because the rishi meant it the rishi meant it so please master this one book if you master this one book anywhere anything you can understand and not only that you without ever knowledge internalize the whole talk that is the beauty of this one announcement second announcement is next week there is no class i am in uttarakashi right direct at the feet of tapon maharaj so next week there will be a class amma has gone to all camps till about 5 years back till there was a change in her personal life no camp she ever missed yeah i told you about the style of this book just here immediately there is a proof for that 
the very first two mantras of the first brahmana of the first adhyaya of the first kanda it seems elaborately he is describing the has you understand and then what does he say at the end that is the style the womb of this has is ocean samudra yoni and the strength the adhisthana the substratum the support for this has is also samudra and what is the samudra is bhagavan brahman samudra bandhu samudra yoni so clear he has a, as he elaborately explained the prajapati vishuru virat ru in the form of the has and concludes this virata this prajapati and they are all emanating from brahman brahman is their support brahman is their bandhu so if you with sadha read it then it will automatically go into you all this plurality all this multiplicity all these differences are only from brahman i'm going to give a quotation but don't forget this thread even if i forget you have to remain quotation should not disturb the thread ಮರ್ಜ್ into which the mark that is brahma so what does it mean you and i are all originated from brahman and staying in brahman come sharana you come with so since so much sincerity i know he's been attending for several years right and with all his challenges come from a distance he comes but you know my way class you can go ahead because next day i will repeat but when you come you have to come for the very first sentence because i relate it to your life when you come you have to come at the very first stroke you have urgency you can leave 10 minutes earlier because i go on repeating so we have been saying the style of this book is as you read you get the glimpse of the truth and here people who buy this book read it ashwa you know his head is this his eyes are this his legs are this they say it's all like max muller said about vedanta practicing of humanity at its early stage right so they say yeah they leave the book but see the beauty in which he has written explained the prajapati in such a detail virat in such a detail and says this prajapati emanates from brahman supported by right this one concept you understand to be whether i proceed or not doesn't matter it emanates from brahman supported by from by brahman and upanishad i quote it further says it goes into brahman right your dream emanates from you stays in you goes back into you. 
your dream emanates from you, stays in you, goes back into you. So yoni is from where he has come. Bandhu means support. All of you, please, even the Antaryama is inside. Listen to this. Nobody loves you more than God. Nobody cares for you more than God. And what do you say? When it comes to Vita class or Upanishad class or God, no, you see, I have, I have no time, absolutely no time. Duties, family duties, all our duties are given by him. For what? He doesn't want a favor. So that you wake up and discover you are him. You say also duties. You have no duty to the one who has given you all the duties. Is there somebody in your life who never leaves you for a split second? Your wife, your children, your father, your mother, your best friend. Is there somebody who doesn't leave you for a split second taking care of you? Providing to you what all experiences you need next minute. Is there somebody like that? Then who else can be more bandhu than him to you? How can you put him in the second place? I have this duty, I have that duty, I have to finish that. How can you make him second? It's below the dignity of a human being not to recognize that love and service and put him second. It's, it's, it doesn't hurt him, but below my dignity. That is Bandhu. Everything stays in him. Right? And this Bandhu, very interesting, in this context, same meaning, but it has a different connotation. Bandhu, that who binds. Arjuna sa sajanan bandhu in Gita. He didn't see the Kauravas. He saw sajanan bandhu, people who bind him. That is bandhu. That is bandhu. But what happens? Bhagavan bandhu too. It liberates. When Bhagavan becomes your bandhu, it liberates you from all plurality, all limitations. All plurality, all limitations. I have been saying this 40 years. You don't have to realize God. You don't have to become a Mahatma. But you are no human being. If you can't recognize the love of God, don't say, I love God. You don't know what is love. How will you say, I love God? You don't even know what is love. Just recognize how much he loves. Your, your life is fulfilled. Your life is fulfilled. That is Bandhu. Right? And now we say, this started with Ashwa, Prajapati, Virat, and in all that, different entities. So, when each of these entities have come from Bhagavan, they have become several hosts in Bhagavan, and Bhagavan is now totally Injured because everything has come from him. And he is hollow also because things have come from him. Because today's topic is creation. Understand the fundamentals of creation. Is creation ever at all possible? Is creation ever at all possible? 
if things have come from Bhagavan, for them to come out, there should be space. They have come from Bhagavan, there should be space. Who created this space? Huh? Where from it has come? It is also from him only. Therefore, there cannot be anything other than him. Because things to come out from him, there should be space. Where is the space outside him? Is there anything outside him? Krishna showed it to Yashodama. You open the mouth, she saw all the universes. Right? There is not, if there is something other than Bhagavan, if there is something other than Bhagavan, Bhagavan ceases to be Bhagavan. Because he is not Sarva Vyaka. Something else is there. He becomes conditioned by time and space. Therefore, finite. Therefore, finite. If there is something other than Bhagavan, he becomes finite. Therefore, there cannot be anything other than him. And in him, the world is a projection on him. Please listen, I am not worried about taking the text. One concept you understand thoroughly, that's enough. Right? So there is nothing other than him, all our projections on him. How is it possible if there is no space, if there is nothing other than him, where are all to project from him? Where are all to project from him? Where is the space? You will dream. Where is the space in you for cars to go, aeroplanes to go, oceans, mountains, in your dream? Where is the space? There is no space. So they are river projections. For projections, there should be space. There is no space needed in your dream. How the projections happen? Don't ask this question. I, the rishis say, I can't answer. Rishis, they say, I can't answer. Because you say, how did they come? Or why did they come? I can't answer. But why should I answer what you are experiencing? You experience me. You explain to me how you are experiencing a dream without space, without time, without anything outside you. How are you experiencing? You tell me. Why should I answer? Why should I answer? You answer. Because for me, Guru said I accept. You only have the doubt. I don't have the doubt. My Guru says I accept. Bas. How did they come? For this. For this, there are several opinions. Opinions of Srishti Vadas. And also, how this perception, the world that you see takes place. They are called Khyati Vadas. They are all the same. Slight angle difference. Srishti Vadas and Khyati Vadas. What is Khyati? Popular opinion is called Khyati. In Khyati, popular opinion about the false perceptions. Po popular opinion about false perceptions. Right? So, what happened is now Khyati itself has translated. False perceptions. That is not the mean, meaning. Khyati is not false perception. It's the popular opinion about the false perception. Different people have given different theories. They are called Khyatis. We don't need it now. We don't need it, but you must hear that. 
The other things, creation theories, non-definition views, about 20 theories. And how does the Mahatma concludes? Because they are all talking about some God, some creation, some people. So the Mandukya Rishi says, they are talking about some God where there is duality. We have no quarrel. How beautifully he concludes. We have no quarrel. It's not our God. In our God, there is no duality. In our God, there is no duality. They are talking about a God where there is duality. We have no quarrel. Because we also accept it. Relatively, Krishna, Rama, all duality. We also accept it. Right? But that is not the God for us ultimate. These are all projections of the mind. Right? What is our God? What is our God? Who is God? The one who can do anything. Sarva Shakti Man. Kartum Shakyaha. Akartum Shakyaha. Anyatha Kartum Shakyaha. He can do, need not do, do it other ways. Right? That is God. Right? And everything is under his control. He is immortal. He is blissful. He is secure. He is stable. There is a slight difference in these words. You have to go and reflect. He is secure. He is stable. Right? He is predictable. Your world is not predictable. Right? Not secure. Not stable. No Shakti. What you see, the same thing, different people interpret it differently. All misconceptions, khyatis, right? Nothing but death. The very book starts, next verse, next sloka it will come if we do today. What is creation? Bhagavan started with Hiranyagarbha, who is death. God itself is death. I will come to that. Right? If I forget, she will remain. Because, see, when each thought comes, if I go astray, then I, I can't give you a complete picture of what you have to internalize. So I have to keep within the framework. Right? So Bhagavan himself has created the creator Where from he created the creator? Where is the space? What material? Was there space? Was there material? There was no space. There was no material. So he did not create the creator. He himself imagined himself to be the creator. He himself imagined himself to be the creator. Why did he become creator? He just in his fulfillment thought, okay, let me be creative. That was the first thought. Let me be creative. So at that stage, when he wills, let me create, he is called Ishwara. He is called Ishwara. Now there is nothing other than him no place other than him. Therefore, he cannot create anything which is not himself. But to create varieties, pluralities, there has to be something to be introduced in that one uniform, eternal, Advaitic truth. Right? What did he introduce? Concept of time, concept of space, he introduced. Where were they? Himself only. That's also himself. 
he introduced concept of time, concept of space. They are also in him. They are also himself. Right? And through this, he made the impossible as though possible a world created. Through this time, space, introductions. How advanced our scriptures. This whole book, Ashwa. Ashwa's concept is only time. This book. The very word Ashwa is that Shwa tomorrow, Ashwa, that which doesn't remain the same tomorrow. That's called Ashwa. And in Bhagavatam, in Bhagavatam, Kapilo Gita, 11th chapter, how the world has come. You, you show it to any modern scientist, he will vote for that. How time has become space, how they joined together, how there was first universe, this thing, how there were Doyanu, Triyanu, how they combined all models. And in one more place he says, exact words Max, that Max Planck repeats, I found atom, I got Nobel Prize, but on inquiry I find that is not there. Same thing is said in Kapila Gita, this is, comes but Little later, Prahlada was talking to Prahugana. He was explaining the duality. You are mud, sitting in a palanquin which is mud. The people who are carrying you are mud. There is nothing other than mud in this world. All are same. And in the enquire, they are nothing but atoms. Other enquire, they are also not there. Exact words in Bhagavad. Further and where even atoms are not there. So there is nothing other than him. But he wanted to create. Creation means duality. Duality means space in between. Space and time are interrelated. They are not different. The period taken from point to point is called time. The gap between point to point is called space. Now that is also not real. It is just a projection of his mind. So what was this projection? He borrowed a mind from himself. And that also comes in exact words. He borrowed a mind from himself to create. And that mind, in that mind, all totality was there. So, total mind is called Hiranyagarbha. First, Brahman. At the stage of willing, Ishwara. At the stage of wanting to create, Hiranyagarbha, Prajapati, or Brahmaji. And then, you have to take forms. From himself, he made some trick and made gross material and that gross material has become Virata. So no, where, where is anything other than Brahma? From gold? No, from iron. Because gold, iron, it's not interesting for you. From iron, can you bring gold? You cannot. Silver is precious. From silver, can you bring gold? From rice, can you become bring wheat to wheat? So you can only bring what was essential, the cause, the cause only can become the effect. Right? Effect is nothing but a modification of the cause. So the whole thing, Ishwara, Hiranagarpa, Virat. World, you and I, aspects of the world, jivas, they are all Brahman through different forms projected by the mind. You and I are all nothing but the same Brahman projected through different forms like the wave, the ocean, the bubble, they are all water only. 
there are water only. How did he create? There should be something, you know, even time and space and all that. Yes, that which is experienced, that which is not there on inquiry, that which is experienced, but that which is not there on inquiry, asad dhana matram, asad, not real, dhana matram, but you experience, is called maya, manomayam. Maya is nothing but mind. So this time, space, the first two projections is called Maya. And all these potential names and forms, potential time and space, potential Maya are in him. That potentiality in him is called Moda Prakriti. Moda means cause. Prakriti means nature. Moda Prakriti. And when through Moda Prakriti he wills, he becomes Ishwara. And then borrows the mind, becomes Prajavati. Then once a grass form, Virat. And then from that, all of us, the Jeevas. All of us are nothing but one name and form Bhagavan takes. Otherwise, all of us are Bhagavan's only. All of us are Bhagavan's only. It's a wrong expression. All of us are Bhagavan only. Right? All of us are only Bhagavan. He takes a different shirt. At home, you wear casuals till you the time to go to office. When time to go out to office, you take formal dress. Come back. Again, slip into the casual dress. Night, different dress. In between, club, different dress. Tennis, you have to play. Tennis dress, you have to change. Different dresses, but you are the same. Through different dresses, you are called differently. My father, my mother, right? And he's my boss. He's my boss. He's my partner, tennis. Right? All are according to the form that you take and the dress that you take. You are the same person. So Bhagavan is the same. Right? Bhagavan is the same. So where is creation? No creation. Experience. You are doing it every day in dream. There is nothing there, but you are experiencing. That which is not there, but experience, is called Maya Mukya. Maya and Mukya. Now you have to get out of this. This is a mess, you know. Because Bhagavan, you are immortal, Blissful, secure, stable, no inadequacy for you to desire agitations because you are full and complete. Now you are a slave to everybody. You are a slave to everybody. Several problems. Even those problems, the thing is, this only problem that stays with me, good, I get used to it. That problem goes. Does it leave you free? When it goes, it brings another problem and leaves and goes. It doesn't exit without giving a substitute. The problems give you a substitute and exit. Why do you wish for change? Be used to the same problem. Anyway, there will be another problem. This is me. That is Bhagavan. How? No, 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 no. If I am Bhagavan, I should not suffer like this. I should come out. How to come out? How did you get into this mess? 
how did you get into this place when you dream you projected those entities atmanah satchidamshascha buddhehe vrittihi the when you are sleeping the sat aspect in you the chitta aspect in you mingled with the thoughts buddhehe vrittihi iti prayam samyojya cha avivekena janami iti pravartate having identified with those forms you become the dream individual bhagwan has created all this parispan now you the individual there in that form thought you were different from brahman got identified with that name and form and suffer you have to come out how did you make it you identified with that what have i to do come on detach from that detach from that this identification the first book i read when i met gurudev you know i can't forget who oh, anything there today also the best book you can read but not today's kindle life today's kindle life lot of additions originally there was a small kindle life in that there is an example malaka came a sanyasi was sitting on the ganges bank in banaras there was a malaka cane walking stick going with a golden top he jumped to it and while he was coming a bigger wave came and it washed off this sanyasi was morose his friends came and what happened my malaka cane washed away where was your malaka you never had it he got it 5 minutes back and it washed away in between he says my malaka cane washed away this is all our relationships with reference to brahman this is not even 5 minutes not even 5 seconds yes a fraction of a microsecond in between my 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 my, my. and that is this problem detach how do you detach see a see all that you see all that you see cannot be your self it's object anything that you can see is your object body you see not you mind you see not you intellect you see not you who are you i am the seer seer of this world seer of krishna seer of rama right but they all go i never go objects come objects go subject never comes subject never goes that which never comes never goes that is called the subject that is me that is me everything else is seen so what you should do dismiss all that is seen so definition for maya myth in bhagavatam yet vacha manasa chachu 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 bhya karne bhya that which through words mind eyes ears nashwaram perishable grihyamanam that which you can grasp maya manomayam that is maya manam if you can objectify something that is maya that is not you same thing in a simple way tatva says madiyam shariram madiyam manaha madiyam atma all this you say madiyam 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 mind 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 what you say mind cannot be me gurudev puts it as a joke my dog is not me though you sometimes behave like that gurudev so so you should be. you can't blame me right what you call my is not me my body not me my mind not me my ego not me my joy not me my sorrow not me so that way whatever you can objectify whatever you can see dismiss 
what cannot be dismissed is you, the subject, the Brahman, the God. Hmm? How did it come? Brahman projected this. They got enamored with the forms, the projected ones. Enamored is one aspect. Second, because they are finite, insecure, out of enamel and insecurity, they develop relationships. They develop relationships. And totally forgot their these waker who is dreaming or Brahman that has projected. Avidya. Myself. Out of my choice in the beginning. Of myself. Out of my choice. Projecting me outward. Paranchikani vitrinat swayam. Paranpashti nantaratham. Kachit dira pratyagvatmanam aichit. Avrutta chachuru amrutta michal. Because extrovert. Extrovert forms you are enamored, so you forgot your real being. You forgot your real being. So, avarana, avidya becomes avarana, it closes you, and then vichepa, it projects. Avarana and vichepa, avidya, avarana, vichepa. So, this vikshepa has to go, avarana has to go, and when both go, avidya is not there, then you realize aham brahmasmi, the mahavakya maha of this Upanishad. To make you negate all that you are not, is all the upasanas here. As I said, he is so compassionate, he doesn't allow you to sleep. Overnight, the false notion immediately gives. He gave the two horses and concludes the yoni of them is Samudra Brahman. The Bandhu of them is Samudra. He doesn't wait. He doesn't wait. Right? So this creation itself is a myth. Mandukya puts beautifully. How does the creation start? Kalpayati Atmana Atman Devaha Swamayaya Sayeva Budyate Veda Aniti Vedanta Nishaya. Kalpyati Atmana Atmanum. He imagines out of himself his present, whatever is Hiranagarbha, Virat, or Jiva. Kalpyati Atmana Atmanum. Sayeva Budhyati. Vedaniti. He only thereafter sees the differences. First, he creates the Hiranagarbha. Then the world is created. Then he sees the differences. He only does everything out of mere imagination, kalpana. Imagination is called kalpana. From that only comes sankalpa. Kalpa is all right imagining, but have a good thought, good imagination, sankalpa. Sankalpa can be desire, imagination, doubt. Sankalpa, right? So he only imagines. And then, Vikarvati Aparan Bhavarna Antachitte Vyavastitan. In him are all the forms. Earring, chain, bangle, they are all in gold. Ocean, wave, bubble are all in water. My friend, my enemy, Mountains, aeroplanes, they're all in me in my dream world. 
So this multiplicity is potentially in him. He throws them out. Vikaroti, Aparan Bhava, Antachitke, Devastita. They are inside him. Neetan Bahishtitaha, thereafter, he brings them out as though they are the objective world. Sayeva Kalpate, he won't be imagined. This is creation. How creation is not possible? Same thing, same Mandukya, it says, I can tell you without searching for them, but the Sanskrit words are so beautiful, you must listen. Na asad hetukum asad. Asad means unreal. Unreal cannot be the cause of unreal. In it doubt. Unreal cannot be the cause of unreal. That which doesn't exist. Vandhya putra cannot give a birth to a son. Sat asad hetukum tada. If asad cannot be the cause of asad. How sat existence can be the cause of non-existence? Non-existence cannot be the cause of non-existence. Existence cannot be the cause of non-existence. So two eliminated possibilities of creation. Satya sat hetakum nasti. Existence cannot be the cause of existence because it's existence. Gold cannot be the cause of gold. Right? The last. Satketakum asatvataha. How can non existence be the cause of existence? So, by these four uh, formulae, he has negated all possibilities of creation. All possibilities of creation. He has negated. Then how it came? Beautiful in Bhagavata. I tell you, if you want to understand Advaita thoroughly, perfectly, without doubt, easy to understand, read Bhagavata. It's a beautiful explanation of Maya, how the creation comes. Rute artham yet pratiyeta, na pratiyeta atmani, tad vidyam atmano mayam anomayam yada abhaso tahamaha. Rute artham, vishime illame, without any substance. Rute artham, yet pratiyeta, but that which is seen, you will dream. Rute artham, yet pratiyeta, there is nothing there, but it is seen. But it's not there in you. The dream world is not there in you. The snake is not in the row. The snake is not in the row. Rute artham yet prati yeta without a substance that which is experienced. Atmani vidyam atmano mayam. What is not there in you, that is the maya of Bhagavan. Which is nothing but Mano Maya, mind is Maya. Yadabhaso Maha. Just as when it is dark, you see things to be different, reflections. They roll, they roll, 
and the snake example or when you sleep sleep is a tamaha ignorance darkness the dream is present avarana vichheta right so that is how the creation comes you want to further understand dakshinam the simplest three shlokas that he has got a, a ten but in three shlokas itself is enough that the masi has explained which from that panadrushya mana nagari kulyam nijantar gatam pashyan natmani maye ah bahir uttam yata nidraya yat saksha purute prabho dasamaye vatmana me vaapayam tasmay sri guru murtaye namay dam tindakena murtaye what is this word how oh, kankara says all of you are using cars you know when you are traveling in the car you see the entire stretch of a few kilometers in your rear glass rear view glass are they are all there in that but you are seeing vishwam darpana drushyamana nagari see the example 1200 years back the world is like the reflection in darpana drushyamana nagari tulyam the city is seen in the darpana in the mirror pashyan natmane mayaya similarly you see this entire world in you the mirror bahir bodhutam as though it is outside yatha nidraya when you sleep in the dream yes sakshat purute prabodha samaye which bhagwan makes it appear when you wake up how inside how is that inside where is the place how was that big tree in the sea all the tree is nothing but the seed only you know how did it come be just yantari vaanguru jagadidam pran nirvakalpam puna be just in that seed is this entire world seed of ignorance right that is creation what is creation which is not there but experienced by you because you projected it why did you project it in because you became unaware of yourself if you are the cause of the samsara which is not real your problems are also not real because samsara itself not real how can the problems of samsara be real if you are the cause of that samsara you are the cause of the imagined the non existent problems you only have to wake up and dismiss the dream nobody else can help because out of your choice you choose to ignore but one how can he help to turn your attention to him which is all from the world of objects it's your choice you have to only do right so this is creation purely mind through the power of bhagwan we can make things not there appear as though they are there like in our dream this is creation so in this creation ishwara is bhagwan hiranyagarbha is bhagwan prajapati is bhagwan ashwa is bhagwan jiva is bhagwan then why am i seeing this thing that the problem he says ramana bhagwan puts it nicely agnascha vignascha jagadeka satyam
చెప్పింది అజ్ఞశ్చ విజ్ఞశ్చ జగదేక సత్యం ఫర్ బోత్ ది ఇగ్నరెంట్ అండ్ ది ఎన్లైటన్ వాట్ ఈస్ దేర్ ది వర్డ్ ఈస్ రియల్ బికాస్ ఇట్స్ భగవాన్ బట్ ది అజ్ఞ టేక్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ సీన్ టు బి రియల్ దృశ్యం హీ టేక్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ సీన్ టు బి ది రియల్ ది విజ్ఞ ది వన్ హూ నోస్ సీస్ ది ఎసెన్స్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ ఈస్ సీన్ But both the world is there. Nani comes, he doesn't walk through this wall. For him also the wall is there. Right? So for both the world is there. But Agnani thinks what he sees is real. Vijnani thinks there is a reality behind what he sees. అగ్ని బ్రాహ్మణ ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ ప్రాణ ఉద్గీత బ్రాహ్మణ next week i complete all that and because i am very now eager to take you all to that beautiful experience the way in which he describes aham brahma so next week i will do all that and come to almost the end of the first chapter of the first kanda but i am i am always telling you so that you should not get frightened i will definitely conclude brudarnika within 15 weeks now four weeks gone only 11 in that also one or two i may skip let us see okay now it's almost time over om purnamada purnamidam purna dachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva sitchate om shanti 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 ఓం శ్రీ